in this tutorial i'm going to share with you my top screen recorder that i've been using for quite some time to record my screen and my camera together this is none other than ScreenPal. ScreenPal is a very intuitive, very easy to use and lightweight software that you can use to record your screen and camera at the same time. You can use it however you want it. So to start with, you can come all the way to any of your search bar, be it Chrome or Mozilla or even Microsoft Edge. You can come to the search bar and just search for ScreenPal.com. It is formerly Screencast. Right now it is ScreenPal. So you can come to ScreenPal.com and it is going to bring you over to this very platform. You can go ahead and download ScreenPal for free, which is a desktop version. You have to have the desktop version to enjoy using it. So I have the desktop version already, but you can go ahead and sign up and create an account. So to sign up, it's free and you can sign up with any of these platforms, either your Google account or your Apple account, or you can go ahead and sign up with an email and password and just go ahead and create an account and sign up. So it's easy to do that, but let me use one of my Google accounts and I'm just going to select one to just log in. So right now I've just logged into my account. This is what you have. Uh, you can upload videos. You can make recordings directly from online. You can take screenshots and you can even open the video editor directly from here. But then I advise strongly to for you to just go ahead and download the desktop application. So once you download and install, you can come anywhere within your launchpad and you can see it over here, screen power. So you can just click on it to kickstart screen power. So be welcome to this very platform. You have to log in as well to have access. You can see this is my own account. And over here, you have recently created videos. So you have the videos arranged accordingly based on daily or weekly, you can see your recent videos over here. You can search for a particular project or a particular video by just searching directly from here. You can take screenshot of anything at any given point if you are interested. So you can just go ahead and say take screenshot. You can see ready to take screenshot, ready. So you have the option to take screenshot, click and drag to select the area that you want to take screenshot of. So for example, I may want to take screenshot of this. I can just release. And right now you can see I've just taken screenshot of this, all right? So you can download it also. You can export it to your computer and you can just go ahead and define the file name, define the folder and the formatting of the file. And you can just go ahead and save. So right now the default is here. So you can find it here. You can just define anywhere you want to define. And uh, let's say we'll go to this YouTube and we can go to screen power tutorial and we can say open. So as you click on save, it's going to save this screenshot in that particular location. So once we go to that location, we'll be able to see it. You can see this is the screenshot that we have. So when you come back to the uh, main software, all right? So you can see over here, we have a number of things. So let's close on this. We have a number of things that we can do. The next thing is we can record our screen or our camera at the same time. So you can just go ahead and come to the record button over here. We can just click on record and you brought into this very platform. Hello and welcome to my house. You can see right now it is at both. You can take screenshot only. You can record your screen only, which is just going to record your screen. At the trial version, you have the maximum of 15 minutes to record. But once you subscribe and it's very, very cheap to subscribe, you can have access to or limited time okay you can record full screen or you can define the size of the screen you can go for 80 or 720 you can define however you want it and then you can check out the audio recording device over here you have a number of devices connected to your system but i prefer to go with my Rode nt usb mic so you can select and you can define the intensity okay you can adjust the volume directly once you say it's okay you can test play also if you're interested you can say record and you can test play if you're interested but you can see from the waves over here or from the signs over here that it is capturing the sound very correctly so you can say okay to this and now we have selected our mic you can check computer recording. This is also a premium feature. If you are a paid user, you can enable this as well and record directly. So you can record your screen only or you can record your camera only if it is camera only that you want to record. Okay, so the next thing is we can try to record our screen and camera probably at the same time or differently. So we can start by clicking on record over here. 
and it will bring you over to this very platform so over here you can see this is a recording screen only you have the maximum time that you can record and you can set the screen size you can go 480 to 720 and at the moment i'm going full screen and you can set the audio capture device so for example in my own case I'm going with the root NT USB mic that I'm using, but you can specify any of the mic that you have connected to your system. Now down here, you can specify the computer audio capture. If you want to capture your system audio, you can specify from here. Now this is for screen capture. The next one is the camera capture, which you can capture directly by hitting the camera. You specify the size of the capture. Let's go with 720. You can see, hello and welcome to my house. And you can come down to this gear icon can specify the, which camera you want to record and so on. Now the next one is you can go to both if you want to record both your camera and the screen at the same time. So you can see over here we have a talking head which you can move to any location but then you're free to specify which camera as well. I'm going with this and I can just select you can change the sizing of the recording. Right now we have this circular talking head. You can click on this to change it to a rectangular talking head if you are interested. You can hide the webcam and you can enable it on the screen as you are recording as well. So I prefer the circle nature so I can position it somewhere here uh, perfectly. Okay, so over here you can check the narration as well and check the audio recording device and set. If you want to enable computer audio also you can set. So let's say at this moment I'm going with full screen and let's say we're going to go with only screen capture so go to screen capture and then we can come down here you have this much features you can click on the record button to start recording directly so once i click on record it's going to give me this timer and you can say go and right now we are recording my screen so let's go ahead and click on this and let's try to open any of my accounts let me search for something like Neverland, and you can see right now this is a platform i'm recording my screen and one thing you should pay attention to is to the bottom left you can see this progress or this timer which means it is recording your screen at the moment if you like you can pause with just one click or you can stop by just clicking on that and then you can have a preview of what you have recorded from here you can play to have a preview and if you like you can click on record to continue recording from where it stopped it is going to continue recording again and if you like what you have you can just go ahead and click on done Okay, and once you click on done, you have this option to save or upload it to your account, okay, in the cloud. Or you can do quick share, which with just one click, you can have a link that you can share with people. Or you can edit the video for free. You can go, go ahead and use the editor and you can do quite a lot of things from there. So let's start with the save and upload, which you can just go ahead. You can listen to the preview over here go all right now we are recording my screen so let's go ahead and click on this and let's try to open any of my accounts so you can see right now it is recording perfectly you can change the recording name from here right now this is recording number 96 you can select and call it sample recording okay and you have the option to maybe try to see what you can use and what you can check and you can trim if you are interested in trimming some sections, you can select and trim those sections that you are interested. But at this moment, I don't want to trim any section. You can just keep it from beginning to end. Now you have this much option. As soon as you finish, you can upload to ScreenPal again, or you can upload to Google Drive. If you want to upload this to Google Drive, you can save as video file. You can save this to an external drive or within your system. And you can go ahead and edit the video as well from here or you can redo or delete the video you have this much options and additionally you can hit on this plus sign to have more other options as well you can upload to dropbox to vimeo to youtube directly you can do all of this directly from here so let's say i'm saving this to a file and once you click on save to a file you can specify the file type usually it's mp4 which is because it's a video and you can check the file name which you have given as sample recording and the folder where you want to save it, I can go ahead and say we're saving it here. Or you can browse within your system and go to wherever you want to save this. So let's say we're going on to YouTube and we can go to screen power and we're saving it here. Okay. So once you click on publish, you can have it published directly. So right now it is creating a file of this. 
or on your device so once you finish this upload you can see it on your own or if you want to go back and continue recording you can say continue in the background and you can just go ahead and resume your upload and resume your recording and you can see your recording for today that you do want to just recording you can see it over here at any given point you can click to recording and you can go ahead and do any of these features or you can edit the video as well if you want to edit the video in the screen pal editor now on the screen pal editor just like the way you have the editing features in most of the video recording software you can equally have the same similar properties over here so you have the sizing of the canvas which you can specify from here the audio properties you have it over here okay you can add music if you want you want to add narrations or you want to import a file that you want to add beneath this if you want to show the cursor you can show it if you want to add captions as well if you click on this you can add captions start with and you can just go ahead and add captions from file okay or you can use speech to text which is what i prefer to just select speech to text and once you hit on this start menu you can start captioning the video now down here you have other features you can add a video file so just a click over here and you can choose from a files or from the cloud if you have any from the clipboard if you have saved any or you can choose from stock library of footage that we have from ScreenPal, you can easily select and add directly or you can come over to these tools you can click and you have this much features you can cut you can copy you can hide camera or you can hide cursor or you can add recorder drawings or the about and you have the narrate feature if you want to add new recording existing project you can add in different files from here you can add narrations of different types and you have overlays over here you can add arrows images blur feature or freehand sketch and so on you can add different things from here and you can replace anything you can replace a video or you can freeze a particular frame and in terms of sound you can add music and sound effects you can out directly you can speed up the clips you can speed up or down you can specify the ratio how much you want to speed up or how much you want to slow down okay so to add the cut tool all you need is just to stay at the tools over here you can come to the cut you can click on cut now you have to select any location where you want to add the cut and just hit on enter okay and just hit on this to kick start the cutting so you can hover over your mouse over to the red line over here you can define the exact location where you want to create the cut so you can bring it over here to define the exact point where you want to cut and once you define it directly you can go ahead and click on ok to this and that section of the clip is cut okay so when you notice that you have this dashed red line which is a sign that something or some section of this clip has been cut out you can undo the cutting out whenever you hover over or you bring your playhead to that point you can click on this to undo the cutting that you have done before so once you click on this you can remove the cut okay and you notice that that section of the clip is now so that is cutting you can still click on this and if you want to add transition at any given point you can just add transition directly by hitting on transition and if you notice it has added a transition for you of this much length one second okay by default it has added the slide transition but you can click on this slide to have more other type of transition you can have the levitate the microscope the mirage as well as the pivot or the push transition Okay, so you can select on any of them okay so i think you got the message so one last thing that i can show you with this software is that juro recording there is the possibility of you to write on your screen using some tools let me show you how to use them so let's go back juro recording for example if you are recording the screen we can just click okay so during recording you will notice that we have these tools at the top of the menu okay what they do is they enable you they give you the opportunity to write on your document or on your screen so this is a mere pen you can just click and you can use it to write anything and you can click on this small arrow over here and you can see different types of coloration you can choose from any of the color and you can choose different kind of thickness that you can see directly okay the thickness varies accordingly and this is marker 
you can use a marker to highlight something a kind of information that you want to highlight and also this one also if you click on this small drop down you're able to select from the different coloration that you have as well as the thickness of the marker you can vary it directly and then you have the eraser which you can use virtually as the name implies to erase anything that you have written on your screen all right just like that you can just click and drag and you erase anything that you have you can always come back and click and you can vary the size of the eraser as well depending on how big or how small your content is and then next you have the text feature you can click and you can type anything welcome to my channel for example all right and you can select and do quite a number of things with this okay by clicking on this small drop down as well you have the option to change the text color you can make it a call out if you want at any given point you can change the text color and if you don't want to make it a call out you can click out just like this and okay so while you select the text you can come and click on this drop down you have the option to change the text color and the background color as well right now it is yellow you can change it to any background of your choice and you can see everything changes so the next one is you have this shape feature you can click and drag and you can draw any kind of shape of your choice and you can come still back to the shape and you can click on this drop down you can vary the type of shape select any shapes type over here you can change the color as well from here the thickness and if you want to have a feel you can have a feel as well so let's try to draw another one or let's call it a rectangle this time around a triangle this time around you can see very easily you can do that then you have other features like the zoom tool you can use it to zoom at any section of your video okay while you're working on you can zoom in any section and you can click on the drop down as well you can reset the zoom back to where it was maybe during your explanatory video you can always undo or redo and you can come over here to search for uh, tutorials questions about this particular feature so that is basically how to use screen pal to record your screen record your camera or record both of them at the same time and another last thing that i want to show you is this feature over here you can use it to create stories okay you can always come back to create stories so as you're done you can hit on escape and this one escapes it and you can click on this to create stories from script or from storyboard so you can just go ahead and give it a try and see what and what you can create so this is the basics of using screen path to record your screen to record your camera or both of them at the same time this concludes this tutorial about the use of screen power for beginners hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching and please don't forget to always hit the like and subscribe buttons to keep enjoying our videos like this and i will see you in my next video bye